Today on BRS TV, how did the flipper magnet cleaners earn that BRS recommended stamp of approval? The BRS recommended tag means either great value at a price point or does something truly unique. In that good, better, best range, the flipper hits the good to better pocket and comes in at a more affordable price point. That combination is where solid value meets and what probably makes the flipper our number one selling magnet cleaner. The flipper's claim to fame is one side's a scrubby pad and the other is a scraper and you can flip from one side to the other by going to the edge of the tank and turning it as you transfer from one side to the other. Well, that's a neat function. I think 90% of the reefers out there will end up preferring one side over the other. By far, the most popular being the scraper side just because it often makes quicker work of cleaning LG off the glass. The blade side combined with only two other small contact points makes it extremely unlikely the rogue piece of sand will get caught in there and anything here will scratch the glass. If you do find the scrubby side is your preferred side of the flip, make sure to keep it free of sand which can scratch the glass with any cleaner. This is particularly true if the inside of the cleaner gets decoupled because in this case it sinks and can land in the sand. Again, even though many cleaners offer both options, this is probably part of why a majority of reefers prefer the razor side of most LG scrapers. The blade and magnet shrink combination does excellent work on your typical green algae and a very common cleaning schedule of every few days to a week or so. In fact, the magnet shrink seems to be optimized for that most common schedule where the friction is minimal, not just doing the job well, but also making the cleaner effortless to move around and easy on the arm. The flip side of that is if you're a reefer who cleans much less frequently and gets a more stubborn film on the glass and lots of coralline algae, the lower magnet strength optimized to make it easy to use also means it'll take a few extra passes on the most difficult to remove crust on the glass. So you know who you are in that cleaning frequency range, just get the right tool for the right job the first time. There is one optimized for your use. The flipper probably being optimized for the most common way reefers use magnetic cleaners, which is every few days to a week. Related to the right tool for the right job, the flipper's done a good job of matching three different size units, that easy to use strength size and the actual cleaner itself. The flipper nano going up to quarter inch glass in a form factor appropriate for that size tank. Flipper standard up to half inch glass and a larger form factor with the flipper max which says it's up to one inch glass. It's my own opinion that those ratings are a little bit aggressive and you might do the best performance slightly under that. Obviously the strongest connection in performance is when it isn't at the absolute maximum operating range or thickness of glass. I have to say if you own a larger tank, the larger physical size of the Flipper Max and its larger blade will probably be reason enough to go this way. Over the years, you'll have a lot of area to clean and you want to do it as fast as possible and the Flipper Max fits that bill. More or less, the Flipper is the number one selling magnet cleaner BRS reefers use. While not perfect on all fronts, it does the intended job, double so if you do it with accurate expectations, and it's up to half the cost of some comparable options. Solid performance at half the cost is the definition of value for a majority of reefers for sure and why it's BRS recommended. Want some of the finer details as well as user reviews? This is the most reviewed cleaner out there, so check out that quick link.